our old 1968 Toyota Stout that goes out as a dairy truck every day and does the milking at Cellar Dairy. We've been thinking about electrifying this. It already has a Victron inverter charger to run the milking equipment. You can see there's a BYD 48 volt battery in there. With all that gear already there, now the clutch has failed, it's time to jump. Just quickly feeding out before we uh, get out of the wet. Yeah, spring's coming up, but winter's not giving up yet. Hey, Joycey. Hey, I'm Ollie. I'm a jack of all trades and a tanium engineer. And I'm here at the Friars Forest Research and Development Workshop trying my hand in my first EV conversion. With the help of a bunch of amazing people, we're converting Cellar Dairy's 9N68 Toyota Stout to electric. We've got the truck ready to go into the workshop now to start a bit of an experiment and research project. So this is our first little foray into EV conversions. Home sweet home, Bert. This is going to be your home for the next couple of weeks. Right, hey, where are we going to start? In the gearbox, so we're going to make an adapter to go on there. So this is the clutch plate. We're going to use the spline out of the center of that. Cool, let's make an adapter plate. I haven't used this in a while. It's a hacksaw. There it is, all bolted up. We've recoded our cylinders. How good do they look? Got the diff out. Unfortunately, the bearings are stuffed, and without other bearings on hand, I decided to clean this other diff up. Just gonna make a little uh, guard. Just got my grandfather's old folding jig here. Here's the finished adapter plate after spraying. This is the Achilles heel of the stout. Look at that rust, man. So this is the rust area in the roof. We're gonna have fun getting that out. That's come out pretty well. I'm starting to put the gear into the inverter that we repurposed. In electrical land, finally. 
This is the new motor controller from Kelly. Let's get started. The motor controller is now in the box. Now we've got the DC to DC converter. Screwed to the firewall. So these are the batteries. Look at that. Let's give it a respray. Just finished the respray. We've got a motor controller that's now in there. We've rolled it out in the sun here, but we can't get this back in the workshop unless this thing drives itself back in. Showing voltage. I'm gonna turn the key now, and we're gonna get the contact to come on. Everything's looking good. Now it's time to see whether that throttle does anything. The moment of truth. <laughs> but yeah, let's just have another drive. Turn the key. Press that pedal. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, so good. Doesn't have a heap of torque on these hills though, that's second. Oh, it's struggling. Yeah, it's borderline. It's pretty cool, but it's borderline. So good to be rolling. After two months working on this beast. Ha <laughs> ha! How good is that? Really, it's like a, it's like a little tractor. It was pretty impressive, it just needs that little bit more grunt on the, the slopes. We've just fabricated the three to one ear reduction. A little bit of the final wiring. We've got the motor in, hopefully take it for a drive. I think it's pretty good. It's ready to go. Seven weeks ago, I was standing here telling you all about some of the reasons why we might want to convert this to electric. Short daily run out to milk the cows, uh, less than a kilometer. Solar power on the top of the roof here, plenty of spare solar. Yeah, it doesn't need a lot of range, and we were just able to gear it right down so that uh, a small motor and modest batteries uh, can do a great job. It does a lot of short little trips, 
slow speed maneuvering, backing up to the dairy parlor, towing the parlor at low speed. This vehicle is gonna work a lot better as electric, full stop. This is the first electric car here at Harcourt Organic Farming Cooperative. It's a family farm and the owners, Katie and Hugh, have really made us welcome here. For young farmers, it can be really hard to get started. My partner, Tessa Seller, runs Seller Dairy. Let's head out with Tess and see how she uses Electrobert on the morning milking run. Good morning.